We at FDA know that, as experts on your disease, there's much we can learn from you as patients, caregivers, and patient advocates. Here at FDA, we sometimes say that patients are the experts in their disease, and what that means is that we think that patients understand best how an illness, how a disease is affecting them. I think that patients are the most underutilized resource in healthcare. I think they have a wealth of knowledge that nobody appreciates. Patients in these rare disease communities, we need that voice and that experience to be heard. We heard loud and clear from the community that although patient engagement has only increased and improved, over the last three decades, that as we've gotten more complex, as medicine has gotten more complex, as disease has gotten more complex, it's harder to, to know how to navigate us. We also know it can be confusing and even downright intimidating contacting the FDA to get your voice heard. To find the confidence to sit at that table and participate is a trick. And the trick is to have done your preparation and to remember that they invited you because they need and want to hear from you. We're filled with healthcare professionals, physicians, nurses, pharmacists, whose sole goal is to help the person, help the patient. We've set up a lot of avenues to try to get patients engaged in the process here. We've created a dedicated office for patient engagement. We've set out a series of workshops um, to invite patients in to talk to us about how we regulate products and how we evaluate products as part of our process. So what I would say is the door is open. Um, we're looking to get patients involved in our processes and we're going to have a lot more to put out to try to address these, these kinds of issues. So we designed this video series to arm you with the tools to effectively advocate for your disease. We'll be covering a host of topics, from FDA jargon and terminology, to whom to contact and when, to what really goes into the review, approval, and safety monitoring of medical products. Because at the end of the day, what matters most is the unique perspective you bring to the work we do. The responsibilities, as I see it, is to be that patient community spokesperson and to really bring humanity into what FDA and the research and the pharmaceutical companies are doing. Medicine is for humans. If I can give patients one piece of advice, I would say approach the agency. Our door is open, knock on our door. We want to hear what patients are experiencing. We want to understand how they're experiencing diseases, how different illnesses are impacting patients. Uh, we want to learn from that. So it's very important that we hear from patients and patient groups, and not just groups that represent patients, but individual patients as well. For more information on how you can get involved, please contact FDA's Patient Affairs staff.